the best way to invest a thousand dollars for the biggest returns? Follow our father-son journey as we each take a thousand dollars and invest it in our favorite asset classes. So you're probably wondering who we are. I'm Eric Peterson. I'm a land investor. I've been coaching students in the land geek program for over five years. Shout out to all you <laughs> land geeks out there. Keep up the good work. And I'm Elijah. I'm a 16 year old junior in high school and I've always been interested in the stock market and investing. I'm going to take my thousand dollars and invest it in land. I'm going to take my thousand dollars and invest it in crypto, the stock market and trade options with it. So comment below how you might take a thousand dollars and invest it. We will be making videos weekly about our progress over the next year. Please consider liking, subscribing, and hitting that notification bell to keep track with our progress. You can also comment below who you think is going to win this challenge. It's obviously going to be me. We'll see. Alright, so tell them how it works. So we're each going to take $1,000 supplied by me. Uh, we'll take the next 12 months starting September 1st, 2022, and we'll invest that money um, and see who ends up with the most profit. If you keep an eye on this channel, uh, we'll be releasing regular updates. And if you keep watching to the end of the video, you're going to hear more about the prize for the win. <laughs> so what happens if you lose your $1,000? I know I'm not going to lose mine. I don't think I'm going to lose my $1,000, but I think there's a good chance know. you might in the stock market. But Here's, here's what happens if you lose your $1,000. You're going to reimburse the account with $1,000 out of your own pocket. Now, I know you might not have $1,000, but you can take it out of your savings, and it's going to hurt you a little bit. But that's what we do if we lose $1,000. That's okay. That won't happen. So what about working with investors? Can um, we partner with investors or take loans? No, definitely not. That would help you a lot more than me. People would not trust a 16 year old kid with their money. Okay, fine. Um, but how do we determine the winner? So it'll be real easy. At the end, which is uh, August 31st, 2023, we'll look at the accounts. We'll take the total asset value. So for me, that's gonna include things like land values and note values. For you, that's gonna look like what's the value of your portfolio of stocks, crypto, etc. Elijah, why don't you tell him about your investment strategy for that $1,000? Yeah, all right, so I have a five-part strategy. The first part is safe stocks like Target, the bigger companies like that, Walmart. That's just safer, and I shouldn't lose my money because those stocks are always going to be around. All right. And then the second part is going to be the riskier tech stocks, Tesla, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. They're down a lot this year. So I'm hoping that they won't go down anymore and they'll start going up this year. Okay. And that would help me out a lot. And then the third is dividend stocks. Those will pay me an amount monthly and I can reinvest that into whatever stock I want. And that will just give me some extra profit on there. And then the fourth part is going to be crypto. I'm going to invest $350 into crypto like Bitcoin, Ethereum, the mm -hmm. bigger cryptos like right. that. And those are also down a lot this year. So those take a big leap this year. That would help me out a lot also. And then the fifth part is going to be option trading. I'm leaving $150 on my account to trade options. All right. And I'll be mostly focused on craft options because I know my mac and cheese. And yes, you do. that's going to be the riskiest strategy in my five-part strategy. And it should make me the most amount of money, though. Okay. If so I don't lose it all. At the end of 12 months, what do you... What do you project your, your profits? What's your, what's your account value at the end of 12 months? What's your goal? Well, my goal, probably like $5,000, 5x my money. This sounds pretty good to me. All right. I don't think you'll win with that, but uh, no, I, I, it's, uh, it's decent. I think so, I will. So it's, it's currently September 4th. So yeah. we're, we're a couple of days in. I know you've already started. Anything yes, you want to talk it. about with? The investments you've made so far are you are you winning are you losing yeah so we started on a thursday so i had two days to trade because the stock market's closed on saturdays and sundays and each day it was open i made a craft trade and both of them were profitable so i'm up about 20 bucks so far and we'll hope to keep that going okay i like it so how are you gonna invest your thousand dollars 
So I'm going to buy and sell raw land. I'm going to follow the land geek model, um, which I teach. Uh, basically, we're going to send offers to land owners and purchase their land. And once we own the land, I can either wholesale it to other investors for a mm, minimal return, or I can retail sell the property on terms or for cash. If we're selling it on terms, that's, that's where we're creating that passive income. So uh, we might take a piece of land and sell it for $50 a month, $100 a month, $150 a month, etc. And the length of those notes is going to vary from probably four years on the low end up to, let's say, six to eight years, depending on the property. So my goal is that uh, over the next 12 months, I'll buy and sell many properties, um, starting by wholesaling, because what I need to do is I need to take that $1,000 and I need to create some capital. And the fastest way I can create capital in land investing is by buying land and wholesaling it to other land investors. With that, with the capital I create from that, I'll be able to take and buy more land and eventually be able to sell that retail on terms like we just talked about and create that passive income. So that's the strategy going forward. We'll, we'll see how it all comes together. Yep. But, but my goal is to, uh, to create $100,000 in asset value or enterprise value of the, the company essentially that, that started with that $1,000. Elijah, what are we gonna do about prizes? Yeah, so for my prize, I've always been a big Miami Dolphins fan. So if I win, we're gonna take a trip down to Miami and watch a Dolphins game of my choice. So. What Sounds about? great. I'm surprised you're not wearing a Dolphins shirt today. Yeah, this is like the only day I'm not. Yeah. What about your prize? So, if I win, um, well, it's not actually if I win. Uh, the, the, the goal or the prize is, is built around a passive income number as well as an enterprise value or asset value um, of the company, basically, from that, that $1,000. So, so, what we're going to say is if... I can reach a thousand dollars a month in passive income, and the asset, the total asset value of the company is a hundred thousand dollars or more. That we'll take a, a big family trip to Hawaii, um, maybe ten days, give or take, and uh, just enjoy some time away. So please consider liking and subscribing to stay up to date on our progress over the next twelve months. Thanks for watching.